because peace is like um, a very high vibrational energy. It's like it, it gives me the energy of an enlightenment. Um, Here you want to be enlightened, okay? Think you want to see things clearly, all right? And with this calming abundance, it's like you're going to realize that there's Her nothing name is to worry Her about, name is all right? So it says sapphire. But Consider the gem pledge. of the soul. The sapphire is a, a stone of spiritual awakening and inner peace. Mm -hmm. I hope you are moving on to that one. Um, so tomorrow, I feel like I'm wondering so who I want to bring tomorrow and what we should talk about. Ugh, you're so annoying. Oh my god. Some bitches think I'm mean, but I'll just I just be trying to be okay. I don't know. I'm just gonna sit quiet for right now. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. What's up? It's Clutch Brown Shawty tuning in. Um, and I'm sitting on something for Ren. Uh oh. <clears throat> yeah, so. Yeah, uh. Mm hmm. I can feel that. There's spell work being done. Let's just say that for the beginning of this video. Um, hey, my name is Clutch, and um, today is Ogun Day. Um, Ogun is two days, so what we do with the seven African powers and shit, Yoruba, the Orishas and everything, each deity gets one day, Ogun gets two, and so I'm going to read y'all what Ogun represents in Yoruba and this African practice that, you know, I adhere to because it just works. It just works. Each uh, Orisha, like Oya, represents, has like different characteristics that embody themselves in like the human experience, the human expression. So, for example, Scissor Gang uh, is an Ogun child is an Ogun child, and, um, yeah, Ogun represents driving and shit, like, them niggas can drive, them niggas is pimps, them niggas is daddies, like, they have all the ice, all the chains, but, like, gold more, so, gold shit, like, a lot of, they deal with metal and iron and shit, but, like, they, they fresh to death, but, <laughs> The story of Ogun, which is what I'm not going to tell today because somebody is really depressing me, but the story of Ogun, you'll see why it is the description that I'm about to read now. So Ogun, O-G-U-N, healing the season, nature, environmentalist, getting slash giving inspira inspiration from nature, centering healer, centering healer, so their healing work deals with censoring people, working with the root chakra, um, iron, help with efficiency, and getting work done. So if you wonder why you feel like you can just do whatever you want with Ogun, like you can do whatever, you can build whatever you need, you can uh, <clears throat> accomplish whatever, it's because they're daddy, and that's Ogun, that's Ogun's major characteristic. Um, the story goes that Ogun was in the forest, and he really... Ogun deals with like tragedy like I feel like the human life experience you got to deal with like a lot of tragedies on your own and shit to really like feel like you're having a experience like or like to not feel isolated to feel like you know you have your own experience you're an individual so Ogun has like the Ogun deals with like people who cut themselves people who have had abortions people who have um, dealt with the tragedies of society and so the story goes that Ogun, he went into the forest and he was like done with all the shit. And, you know, he was doing whatever to himself. He was just not coming out the forest. And I just said, you know, efficiency. So he builds all the shit, like he builds all the hammers, all the shit like that. And all the tools that we use to uh, function as a society. And he like left and was like, no, I'm not going to do this no more. I'm not going to help y'all no more. Fuck that. Because he was just overcome by, you know, problems he had with himself basically and so you know these orishas also are not like SZA is a child of Ogun and so I want to make it clear that these orishas don't have a gender so if a person has been through a lot and you know you're not necessarily gonna know no but like you could probably figure it out after some point you know 
this old grown child has been through, you know, I, I say cutting because that's what it is like relevant to what an old grown child's tragedy would look like. Um, and so there's like that part. So he was, he was like, I'm through with all this because just what he was going through with himself, you know, this is part of being a person, being a person. And, you know, he was like in the forest and shit and not coming out. And all the other Orishas, all the other deities were trying to get him to come out so the world could keep going. So, because Ogun saved the world basically with all the abilities he had to like, you know, get people focused, narrow minded work. That's what you use Ogun for. If you, Ogun's day is Tuesday and Wednesday, he gets two days. So, you know, driving. Just something that where you're doing your work, basically. And Ogun is who helps with that. So he was in the forest and shit. And so the story goes that Oshun, which I'm a child of Oshun, went and got him out of there because, you know, as a person, you can't, I'm going to explain it. You, you can't wallow in the tragedies of self or, you know, tragedies of the world. You can't deal with that by yourself. For, you, we can't do this alone. So Oshun went and got him and got him to come out. And he started building the world again. He started, you know. And so you have mechanics and shit. Mechanics be child of. Um, people who. Construction workers. Ogun. Um, he, but the other thing is that I want to explain. You can be like a librarian and be a child of Ogun. It's just. This is what I'm trying to explain about this religion and this practice because it opens up black people for a lot of different things, um, especially who we want to be and who and what we want to see on this um, journey of life and living and the other side, to be honest. So, yeah, um, hopefully this was a good enough video. Um, hopefully y'all got um, some information from me that um can help y'all with y'all days because i know ogun this video will be entitled ogun tuesday and wednesday that's his day and daddy vibes let's let's do a description so sizzle you know sizzle has all her chains she wears a lot of rings and stuff um but the daddy vibes really come from you know ogun is definitely like a brother to people um, definitely like, I'm just, this is nigga shit. Like, you know, you know who daddy is by, you know who daddy is. <laughs> just somebody who is protective of, they shit, you know what I'm saying? Pimp, a uh, pimp. I really like Ogun. Like, Ogun really helps with, um, keeping... Keeping the efficiency, like, really, though, because Oshun, Oshun came into the forest and was like, okay, I'm going to just hee hee ha ha and get you out of here because that's what that was her essence. And he was, like, very, like, he got, like, you know, like, intrigued in that and the, her beauty and shit. And so he came out. And so, like, that's... And I'm sure she was like, because <laughs> she was the only one who could get him out. Like, Oya had tried. Yamaya had tried. Um, and so that's this for a dumb video. But yes, again, it's Clutch Brown Shawty tuning in. Um, hope y'all have a good day. Cheers.